Well, a pest problem keeps popping up at Detroit's EMS. It is a story our Ronnie Dahl first told you about back in July. And tonight, she's back on that buggy story. Yeah, she's exposing more problems and bugging City Hall for answers. Ronnie joins us live outside Medic 21 on Detroit's east side. Ronnie, what's going on? We know we feel like we're scratching yeah. back here. I know you just say the word bed bugs and you start to scratch. You notice that I have actually moved way across the street because I don't have my hazmat suit on. It is one of my biggest fears bringing home bed bugs. And now that they have them here at Medic 21, they want to know why the place has not been treated. It's been nearly two weeks now. And some of the other people still forced to come to this building every day are worried if they don't do something quick, those bed bugs could spread. Bed bugs have been a reoccurring problem at Detroit area EMS quarters. In July, they were discovered at Medic 4 on the city's east side. The city need to clean up these bed bugs, okay? After our story, the city did send a crew to fumigate the place, but because of the infestation, the couch, the chair, and all the other furniture had to be tossed out. It has only recently been replaced with a desk and a couple of beat up chairs. Now we are learning of more bed bugs at other medic units. In early August, the blood sucking pests were found at Medic 8. An experimental heat treatment was used to get rid of them. The bugs are gone, but sources tell me the heat damaged items inside the living quarters. Not too much loss. Actually, it was a television set and the light fixtures was, was the extent of the damage that was replaced right away. And the latest location to be closed down, Medic 21 on Detroit's east side. They were found in the furniture and the EMS duty room. That was around August 23rd, almost two weeks later, and the room still hasn't been fumigated. Firefighters forced to share the building are worried the bugs are breeding, and if something isn't done soon, they'll get into their living space, and the firehouse will have to be shut down too. Bed bug treatment is a little bit different than other infestation treatments, and it becomes very, very costly. And so the deputy chief says he doesn't believe there is a concern that the bed bugs are being spread throughout the firehouse because they have to be transmitted through people. In fact, they believe they got them because of the patients that the EMS guys have to work on. But the room is sealed off. They taped it off. And so he thinks it's okay. Now, this is, of course, is an issue of money. It costs about $2,000 just to treat this one unit. But they hope to be able to do it sometime later this week. For now, we are live on the city's east side. Back to you. Okay. Okay, Ronnie, let's hope they got him this time. For Thank sure. You. Thanks.